Good morning, YouTube. I'm still in the Eastern Hills area in East Dayton, so this is part two, and I hate to start this off with this, but this is one that is unfortunately condemned right here on Elburn and, and Elbert Avenue right here. I'm going to walk around this for a while, zigzag around little bit more and more yeah that Smithville Road off in the off in the distance right there I believe here's a nice tree line Boulevard right here Park View yeah Park View Avenue it should really be named the Boulevard but for some reason it's not but Hey, I'm going to cover this street, then I'm going to do a few more on this. This one for sale, 709 Parkview. That's not a bad house for somebody. It's in a nice, it's in a nice neighborhood too. So, anybody want a nice house in a nice part of East Dayton? Well, there's a plug for you. 717, right here. 713. 717 this is also for sale right there looks like Remax Realtors 721 nice yeah this is definitely a a side of East Dayton that you that you don't often you know get to see unless you're actually willing to get out and venture and venture to it unfortunately just a dog barking I'm not really worried about the dog 733 737 so yet yeah, these are still some nice houses right here I'll show the other side of I'll show the other side of Park View Right there, that road up there, Smithville Road, that you could see where the Kroger's is, right in that area. Yeah, here's some of the houses on the other side of Parkview. I'm just going to zoom in on these a little bit because I'm going to get ready to walk down another street in the neighborhood right here I showed the other side pretty well this is the tree line boulevard that lined it some nice trees right here that line this neighborhood 744 748 752 so these are some nice houses right here actually I take that back this side is is actually Elborn is actually Elborn right here is actually Elborn so I'm gonna go down Claremont I'm gonna go down Claremont. I'm not gonna cover every street here, but I'm gonna cover quite a few at least. Definitely not gonna cover every street in the neighborhood, but I'm gonna cover a good portion of them right here. Yeah, this is Claremont Avenue, so. Seven twenty six. This is a nice house. Is seven twenty. I can't tell if anybody's living in that one or not. I don't know. It's possible, but can't really tell. But still, was pretty nice through here. Yeah, this this neighborhood is a. Uh, I don't know, it's not a 
terribly large neighborhood. It's probably about, I'd say about 12 to probably no more than 25 streets tops is what it probably is back through there at Smithville Road right up there. I'll film the other side of that in a little bit, but I'm going to do more on this right here. Do more on the other side of this is Just see how to name the street here. I believe it's Gondert. Yeah, Gondert Avenue. You can still see the Eastern Hills sign there in the video right here on the corner. Definitely wanted to walk this neighborhood. It's, for the most part, this is a pretty safe neighborhood. For the most part, I would have to say. Some beautiful houses right here that are just absolutely, you know, beautifully maintained. So, and for the most part, most of these are, are, are homeowners. There's not a lot of rentals, I don't think, in this particularly in this particular neighborhood and and if I had to venture to say given the overall demographics of the area there's probably a lot of baby boomers that live back here because as most of you know and as I've said and as Econ said Ohio has an older you know population yeah this house at 717 Gondor right here it's a beautiful house I'll show that I'll show that here in a second here New price for sale, 714 Gondert. That's a nice house for somebody. 717 Gondert, a beautiful house right there. Just an absolute beautiful house right there for, for somebody. Squirrel out, scurrying around and running around a little bit in the area today. This one at 707, I can't tell if anybody lives there or not, but it looks in good shape regardless of whether or not somebody lives there or not. Yeah, this is Albert Avenue, which I started the house at the beginning of the video, and unfortunately that house down here at the end of this garage, it is unfortunately vacant and abandoned, so that is the one I saw in the neighborhood unfortunately for sale by owner it's a, hey 622 that's a pretty nice house too right there this one is 619 for sale by owner Gondor nice house there yeah this is definitely I would say next to the Belmont area this is probably the second nicest neighborhood on the east side of town although this neighborhood is more dead east not far from here is riverside um not far from here is riverside um is as the city of riverside which used to be known as mad river township but here you got some beautiful tutors for Actually, this is actually a different, this is Gummer Avenue again, but this Tudor right here, you don't see this very often here. I've filmed Tudors before, but a lot of them are, that are in the city or in the Dayton View area, but this is a pretty nice house on Gummer Avenue right there. Nice house back on Gondert Avenue right here. Yeah, so these are nice houses for somebody. Another nice house right there, 542 Gondert. You know, I'll give praise and give credit where it's due and I'll condemn and give condemnation, you know, where it's due. If it's a nice neighborhood, I'm gonna give credit and say it's nice. If it's a slum, 
I'm gonna say it's a slum. I present my city as somebody who actually lives in the city, as somebody who's a transparent person who lives in the city. I'm not somebody that lives in Beaver Creek or Oakwood or Vandalia that makes these videos. Not that I'm against filming in those neighborhoods because I have filmed some in Vandalia and I have filmed some in the suburbs, but the videos of Dayton I present from an honest view of somebody who actually lives in the city himself. 523, that's a, not a nice, that's a nice house too. I cannot tell if it's occupied or not though. It'd be a shame for that house to fall into ruins if it did, because that's a nice house. 519, this, this house was probably built in the 50s, right there. Yeah, so these are still some nice houses right here. And unfortunately here on Huffman Avenue, Nice house on the corner there. And unfortunately, you do have one that has been condemned here, sadly, or a nuisance violation. Beautiful house at the corner of, there's the Eastern Hill sign again at the corner of Gone Dirt and Up in 1445. That's a nice house right there. Beautiful house right there. Yeah, this one at 1459, it is condemned and, and vacated, unfortunately. So that's unfortunate to see that. But it just, sometimes you just can't avoid it, unfortunately, on this side of town. That's just what, that's just what it is, unfortunately, on this side of town. But... But this neighborhood, I would definitely recommend this neighborhood to anybody that would consider living in East Dayton. You go further down the hill on Huffman, it starts to get starts to get a little bit more bad. But these are still some nice houses. Here's one that is vacant and unfortunately that is unfortunately fallen into decay. 1564 Huffman Avenue. Sad to see the way this has just fallen into decay right here, but this apartment building, I don't know, this may or may not be vacant as well, but yeah, this house right here, it definitely stays. This is probably the worst one of the condemned houses in the neighborhood. I cannot tell if anybody lives... Yeah, this one's vacant right here. But yeah, this one is unfortunately vacant and derelict and and boarded up right here. I'd love to do another edition of East Dayton Slumlords Live in Perfect Harmony on this house, but this street is just too busy to to just for somebody to just walk in to just walk right through right here but this is really sad right here surprisingly the gutters are still here yet this is really sad right here uh, spray painted and everything but I may come back over this way in a few minutes because that one window is open on that house and I'd love to see the inside of it right here Nice house right here. 
Yeah, this is Hess Avenue right here. And I think I'm going to get ready to to end this to end this video cuz I'm going to I'm not trying to put this neighborhood in a bad spotlight cuz it is nice, but I'm going to do another edition, I believe, of East Dayton Slumlords in perfect harmony with their slum tenants because whoever the landlord was to that house you've ruined a nice neighborhood and a nice house you know by your slummy activities and what you do and yeah this is Hess Avenue right here I'm gonna focus this one right here I can't tell this one side is vacant right there but this street right here is not too bad, but there's another side of Eastern Hills on the other side of Smithville that I'm going to get ready to film, but that's it for this one.